So this is just a quick demonstration to show you a new feature in the updated version of the glossary converter. So I'm going to take this spreadsheet, which has just got five terms in it, English, French, Italian, Spanish, and German. And I'm going to convert that, convert that to a term base. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge it with this one, which has got English, Hungarian, and Turkish. And I'm going to merge them on the English term. So there needs to be something in there to be able to, for, for the terms to be able to match clearly. So the way this works, start the glossary converter. First thing I'm going to do is just drop my first term base in there. All the languages are recognized. I click on OK. That was simple enough. So that gives me my first term base. And there it is. So I've got my five terms in five languages. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to the glossary converter again. And if this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the settings. And if you look over on the right hand side here, there's this tab called merging, which was not there on previous versions of the glossary converter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say merge files and also use a master term base. The master term base is going to be this one. So I'll go and look up that term base. There it is. That selects my term base. And then I'm also going to say merge languages. I could tell it at this point which language I wanted to merge on, but in case I was a bit unsure what the name of the field could be, I can leave it blank and I'll be prompted to select from the list when the spreadsheet has been added, as I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to click OK at that point. And you'll see this is also added in some little traffic lights here, telling me that I'm merging, I'm using a master term base, and I'm merging on language. So if I see that there, that's a bit of a reminder that if I didn't want to merge, I need to go in the settings and get rid of that. But I do. So I'm going to just take the spreadsheet with the Hungarian and Turkish in it and drop that into the glossary converter like that. So what that does is first of all it brings up the existing term base which is my master term base. I click on OK and then it says OK I've had a look at that. This is what's in the spreadsheet and it's picked up my Turkish, Hungarian and English. I click on OK and then it says choose the field you wish to synchronize on, an entry field or language. This is a very simple term base, just to give you the concept, but I'm going to pick English. So I'm going to synchronize them on the English language. And I click on OK. It goes through. I can exit at that point, and you can see I've now got a merged terminology base here. And if I open it up, there we go. So I've got my five terms, but now I've got seven languages, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And so that's a very quick and simple way to merge term bases using the new version of the glossary converter. It's a very smart tool.